Hi, welcome to RG Lecture. So this channel is dedicated to the students of physics and this particular playlist of AC circuit contains all the videos which are a part of syllabus of graduation level physics. It can be BSc physics, physics honors, electronics, electrical engineering and many such courses. So consider sharing these playlists and videos into your college and class groups. Also join my telegram group link is given in the description. Hi, in this video we will study the concept of choke coil. Now choke coil is a simple but yet somewhat important topic as we consider from the vision of a viva or some exam or a MCQ exam. So what is a choke coil? So choke coil is a term which every Indian might have heard in Hindi when tube light goes down or it's damaged we say choke gaya hai, tube light ka choke gaya hai, choke badalna padega. So what is a choke coil? Now tube light is directly connected to AC source there is no transformer now AC voltage is fluctuating and we do not want so much voltage also in tube light so we connect a resistor in series with our tube light but as we discussed in the power factor video in a resistance the phase difference is zero what is my power power is equals to the VRMS IRMS cos of phi now cos of phi is 1 in case of a resistor which indicates the power consumed by a resistor is maximum because whenever cos is 1 P becomes P max. So basically my resistor will consume much of the power. In my circuit my resistor will consume much of the power. So I do not want this to happen. So what we do we connect a LR circuit. We just connect a inductor in series with a resistor before connecting it to your tube light. Now what happens? Now the total resistance becomes impedance, right? Because now this becomes R square plus XL square, right? Because I have connected an inductor. Of course, I cannot remove my R. I need my R because resistance is of course must because I don't cannot directly connect the tube light. I need resistance. So I take minimum value of resistance so I keep a resistor by I consider its minimum value okay but at the same time I want Z to be increased because I ultimately I want some opposition to be offered by the tube light to the AC source but now I, I cannot increase the R because I will if I will increase the R my power in consumption will increase so what I can increase I can increase the XL what I can increase? I can increase the XL, I can increase the inductance. Now we have studied that power consumed by an inductor is zero. So basically the function which resistor was doing now will be done majoritarily by an inductor because it does not consume any power. Okay. So this is the concept behind the choke coil. Also cos of phi is defined as R by Z, right? And Z here in this case is R square plus XL square dividing throughout by R we will get 1 upon 1 plus XL upon R the whole square. R is very very small. So this term will nearly become infinite if R is very 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 small. So this term will tend to infinite which means cos of phi will approximately be 0 for our complete circuit. If cos of phi is approximately zero, then power consumed will be minimum. And that is what we wanted. We do not want it, my power to be maximum and be consumed by the resistance. Because if that happens, my most of the energy will be wasted. So that is all about the concept of choke coil, which we need to understand. And uh, I think I have completed all the topics of AC circuits for the students of BSc physics. Do share this video in your BSc groups, in your class groups, okay? And do support my channel by subscribing and sharing with all your friends of BSc Physics Honors and so on. See you in the next lecture series.